Welcome to this month's Nutrition Pearl on Reef Feeding Center, presented by the Council for Pediatric Nutrition Professionals. Reef Feeding Syndrome is loosely defined as electrolyte shifts that may occur after a period of starvation, resulting in dangerous metabolic dysfunction. With prolonged fasting or starvation, body stores of vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes are depleted with catabolism of muscle and fat for energy. Upon calorie introduction, the shift to anabolism causes low serum concentrations of electrolytes, fluid shifts, and vitamin deficiency. In 2020, Aspen published a consensus recommendation on the definition, criteria, and management of refeeding syndrome. Here are the criteria for determining risk of refeeding syndrome in children based on BMI, weight loss, energy intake, pre-feeding electrolyte levels, physical assessment, and higher risk comorbidities. Next slide will go over Aspen's list of higher risk comorbidities. These are the higher risk comorbidities that Aspen suggests may predispose patients to refeeding syndrome. Many of these are conditions or situations that cause decreased oral intake or malabsorption. It's worthwhile to mention that in the eating disorder population specifically, there is some data to suggest that perhaps more aggressive calorie reintroduction may not worsen electrolyte disturbance, just quicken the onset. This is an ongoing area of research and it remains to be seen whether these practices can be extrapolated to other patient populations. Please refer to the references section for the relevant publications. Additionally, Aspen defines refeeding syndrome into mild, moderate, and severe categories, depending on change in electrolyte levels upon calorie reintroduction. Note that onset of these electrolyte shifts must occur within five days of reinitiating or increasing calorie provision. Recommendations for refeeding syndrome management in pediatrics are abbreviated and summarized here. Notably, Aspen provides calorie initiation in terms of percent calories and advancement recommendations in glucose infusion rate, including enteral glucose for pediatrics. We will not be going over calorie estimation in detail, but here are some general references. Aspen recommends supplementing those at risk for refeeding syndrome with a complete multivitamin for 10 days. For high risk patients, to also provide thiamine at two milligrams per kilogram with the maximum of 100 to 200 milligrams per day before feeding commences. Continue for five to seven days in patients at high risk for thiamine deficiency. And lastly is monitoring. For those at risk for refeeding syndrome, Aspen recommends checking serum electrolytes prior to initiation of nutrition and every 12 hours for the first three days at minimum. We may also want to check serum glucose to help guide advancement. Aspen recommends checking daily weights, intake and output, as well as vitals in at-risk patients. Thank you for watching and hope you found this information presented helpful. References are provided here for more in-depth reading.